Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, I'm still tracking colder air just over the border in Canada, but it doesn't really get here until the weekend. So now until then, we're just seasonably cool. Doppler radar is quiet. Skies are clear and the threat tracker all green. Now through Friday and Saturday in the low category, certainly no storminess or widespread heavy precipitation. So fairly quiet. And the bigger weather story will be the temperatures this weekend. The first real chill of the autumn season. Clear at the Oakland Beach in Warwick right now. That includes here in Providence. Not a cloud in the sky. Dry 58 right now. Most areas are in the mid to upper 50s. A west southwest breeze a light speed humidity is dry at the 47 percent Tiverton checking in now at the 56 degrees so here's the wider view of the satellite and radar composite you see the clear weather across New England here's the next system that I'm tracking though the bulk of this precipitation and rain will head up to central and northern New England overnight into tomorrow the very tail end down in here we may get clipped with an early morning sprinkle but nothing more than that bottom line a better part if not all of Friday is essentially dry so looking okay with eventually some developing sunshine future cat shows as well first of all we're clear this evening just watch the clock starting off at seven o'clock this evening and then overnight tonight seasonably cool not terribly cold especially compared to what's on tap for this weekend now this is six o'clock in the morning clouds are on the increase temperatures in the upper 50s you see a few sprinkles approaching the Connecticut River Valley so one or two will pass through tomorrow morning early and then the trend will be for increasing sunshine so by noon we're back to mostly sunny skies. Temperatures approaching the uh, lower 60s during the afternoon hours, so not too bad. This is pretty much where we should be for this time of year. This will feel warm compared to what's on tap for both uh, Saturday and especially on Sunday. So the future cast for this evening with essentially clear skies to start 11 o'clock, the temperature dropping off to 50. Tomorrow morning, starting with clouds and an early morning sprinkle, then developing sunshine by late morning, 11 a.m., 63, and by the afternoon hours. Real nice mainly sunny, high temperatures at around uh, 60, 65. So one more relatively mild day before that cold air takes over. Let me show you the temperature trend. The normal high is 62. Not bad tomorrow. Saturday is much cooler. Sunday and Monday. Now these are daytime highs. You see the downward spiral here at 49 only to take the roller coaster ride back into the mid 60s by the middle of next week. Seven day future cast shows uh, a cool seasonably cool Friday. Not bad at 65. Friday night lights the high school football games actually looking pretty good had some rain the last couple of Friday nights but it's nice and dry Saturday's windy and chilly at 56 Sunday is pretty cold even with sunshine and never even makes it into the 50s upper 40s and this sets the stage for a very cold Sunday night Monday morning I do anticipate a widespread freeze later Sunday night and towards daybreak Monday with low temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s before that moderation in temperature but not until the middle of next week so uh the furnace will kick on the pellet stove will be at work you can download the channel 12 weather app on your smartphones and on your tablets as well nothing unusual about getting freezing temperatures uh, from mid-october it's about time actually and, and it's not the last we're going to see of warmer temperatures either that's the nice no thing. i don't see this like locking in for yeah. many many days as as you can see there it does recover by wednesday and thursday all right tony thanks